This is Grand Man. I'm back. And this is part two of men that want to have kids. I would tell you, men, ask the woman, does she want to be a stay at home mom? Because if you don't want to be a stay at home mom, you don't need to have kids by. Because if she working and you working, y'all have to take the kids to the daycare. And the daycare is not raising up your kids properly. You know, she should be a stay-at-home mom raising up your child properly. That's, I mean, that's the proper order. That's really going to help the child and the mama bond. And also, you know, um, homeschooling too. If she not down to homeschool your child or whatnot, you know, I think that should be in the equation too. If you want to have kids with a woman. And like I was saying earlier, not having kids here in the United States, but having kids in a different country. Like checking the laws, see what the laws are with child support and all that type of stuff like that. Now, when it comes to like marrying a woman or whatnot, never do it by state. Like here in the United States, never get a state marriage contract. Even in other countries that have marriage contracts, don't get those either. Because, you know, the divorce, I mean, like, women going to be more apt to divorce a man when it's on a contract. And then, ain't no telling, like, because I, I mean, I know, like, some places that have been, like, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Panama. I know they have marriage contracts. And you know, you take you take a uh, marriage contract through that and then eventually more than likely it's going to end up in a divorce. And I don't know if the man have to pay you know alimony or whatnot to his wife there in those countries. I'm not actually for sure about that, but I do know they do have marriage contracts. So I would tell men, like, if they travel to those countries right there, you can talk to your woman. Like, because technically, when y'all have sex, y'all supposed to be married. But take, I mean, taking it nowadays, like, women are not virgins. Especially women that's over 18 years old, 18, 19. They're not virgins no more, like it used to be back in the days. So <laughs> they already got bodies on them. So, um, but sex supposed to equal marriage. So you should talk to your woman and tell her, okay, you can be, well, technically my uh, concubine. A concubine? I mean, because technically to be a wife, you're supposed to be that man's uh first woman uh i mean well the woman the only man that that uh you have been with what well, she have been with that's how it's supposed to be and that way she can be a wife but you can only have concubines that's it because these women are not virgins but just to say you know because uh, i know a lot of women not going accept the term ah oh, you making me a concubine you know what i'm saying like nah I want to be your wife. Let's tell her, okay, all right, you can be my wife at that stand, but I'm not signing no marriage contract, not by the country or the state. I'm not doing that. We vow to each other by word or write down on a piece of paper and y'all both sign it together or something like that. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure, well, now, I don't know here in the United States would that be valid or not, but um, y'all can have y'all own little contract. And I mean, I would take it that far if it came down to it. But other than that, you just say, okay, now I vow to you, you my wife, and I'm your husband. Like, not even put it down on a piece of paper. And then another thing, too, like, really, it's like this. If she got her own place and you got your own place, you know, I would keep it like that. I wouldn't move a woman into my place. The only way, the only way 
if we had kids together. And that's the only way I would move her into my place. But yeah, this is Ram Man, and I'm out.